Hi, and welcome back to my channel, Gabby on Paper. Today's video is going to be June's budget with me. I am basically just going to create a plan for my money for the month of June. Um, it's kind of a weird month because, let's see, I have, I'm finally, I'll finally have two paychecks at my job. However, they will not be full paychecks. Um, since I'm so brand new and I had something scheduled for a couple of the days um, that I worked, I had to take two days unpaid. Unfortunately, that's just where we are right now, but that's okay. Um, I think I'll still have a good amount of money to work with. Um, it just won't be like a regular paycheck will just be a little bit more. Aside from that, I do have my like a trip and my sister visiting, um, so we're going to We'll go over all of that as when we get into the numbers for, for June. So let's go ahead and get started. to go over my um, bills calendar um, so uh, the orange are just the bills that I have with my boyfriend that we split 50 50 the blue are the bills that my boyfriend my sister and I split three ways that's just subscriptions like Hulu and Netflix and things like that um, and then this like corally color um, are my own personal bills and what's different this month and last month is I do have debt. <laughs> if you watch my debt confession video, it goes over all the amounts um, and what I spent the money on. And um, this is just when the minimums are due. The gray indicates events that I have going on during the month that may require money. And then just on the side over here, I um, made a note of some other events that don't necessarily have a date, but that I do have to make sure to consider in my budget. I'm gonna go ahead and take it out of my binder so it's a little easier to write. And then I can zoom in a little more. Just gonna put it off to the side over here. Um, this will allow me to like reference the exact amounts for the bills. Okay, so my new job. <laughs> um, I get paid semi-monthly and I am on salary. Um, I get paid on the 5th and the 20th. The 5th is a Sunday, so they'll pay us the business day before, so which is um, June 3rd. And like I mentioned just a second ago, it, it's not a full paycheck because I am missing a day's worth of work. I needed to have a day off, and I just didn't have, um, obviously, with just having started, I hadn't accrued any PTO. So um, it's hard for me to say how much this will be after with one day off and then all the deductions like insurance and transit and all that that comes out before. I think I'd rather under budget than over and maybe this is not even under, maybe it's, I really don't know. I guess um, I'll just budget 1600 for now for both because both of these checks will have a full day off. <laughs> um, it's kind of unfortunate, but that's where we are. So obviously 16, oops, 1,600 times two will be $3,200 for my income for estimated. I think I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit. All right, my rent stays the same, which is $1,118. Um, this is for my half of our rent here in Chicago. Um, my half of our utility fee that we pay for like utilities and like internet to our building is $60. And then my half of ComEd is $24.50, that's our electricity. The Peloton membership is normally 
4183. However, um, in June, all the prices are going up by five dollars. So I thought I would run this up to 47 even. Um, we'll see. AT&T should be staying the same at $77.81. Um, my subscriptions, which includes Netflix, Hulu, Apple One. Oh, and my sticker subscription. Um, that would normally come to $39.91. All right, so um, what I'm gonna budget for with my new debt <laughs> um, is the minimums. Once, I haven't decided when my plan of action will be to pay, to get this paid off, like if I wanna snowball it or, it's not a ton of debt so I know I can get it paid off decently fast or if I just wanna throw money at it from my savings. I really don't know what my plan is. So for now I'm just going to, um, budget for the minimum payments, which are $40 for Nordstrom. My Apple is, oh God, $83.75. The, the Apple is 0% interest because it's like making payments on um, an iPad I had purchased. So that's kind of why that's so high, but that's okay. Um, and then Gap. Um, I'm going to budget 35 because I can't remember if it's 25 or 35. So I'm going to go ahead and get that added up. Oh, I always do that. $15.25.97. I'm gonna double check my math, like always. Okay. All right. This is the, the, the part I always struggle with, the variable expenses. Um, so, let's see. Groceries and... I think I'm going to be over budget for the month of May, but just by a little bit. Um, and we will be doing a lot of eating out in June. So I'm actually going to decrease my grocery budget from 240 last month to $230, just decreasing it a tiny bit. Dining out, I normally budget $200 and this month it's looking like I'll be kind of way under even with work lunches. Cause my sister's actually coming to visit. She'll, today is Sunday the 29th. She'll be in this evening and already we're planning to eat out tonight. I know we'll eat out tomorrow with it being a holiday. It's gonna be nice weather here in Chicago, so. Um, but those are all part of May, but there are a list of places that I want to take her to that that we enjoy going to and then she has her own list that she wants to, to try and visit. Um, so because of because she'll be here for such a long time for two weeks, there will definitely be dining out. Aside from that with me working um, in the office every day for about two to three months. I don't know how long I'll be yet. Um, I do have to plan for some work lunches. I am trying to figure out what kind of food I want, I can take from home. My issues is I don't like leftovers or like reheated food. I prefer to eat my food fresh. So I'm always like cooking for that one meal. Um, so with my issues of reheating food, it makes it really hard to like bring food to work. So I'm trying to figure out what it is exactly I wanna do so I can not eat out there as much. Um, the few times I've been doing it, I've been trying to keep it really cheap, but um, it will still add up. So I gotta figure something out. So all that to say is that I'm increasing my dining out um, budget for the month of June from $200 to $300. Hobbies, um, I'm putting on budgeting 25 because I 
what I really should do is cut this out because I just have so many expenses, but the truth is, is I probably will spend money. I'd rather give myself a little bit of wiggle room than just not all together. And then shopping. I debated whether or not I should include this, um, but I think I might need to buy some work shoes. <sighs> I had worn my really cute, fancy, like, flats my first day of work and I scuffed them on one day <laughs> um so I put them away for now until I can figure out how to like fix them um I because I don't want to ruin them they're so expensive uh so I might need to buy something a little cheaper um I don't know I gave myself $75 I don't even know if, if that will be enough for a pair of shoes that I like I don't know and then home, um, I'm giving myself $25 um, in case things come up for the home. I'm thinking we might need to buy some candles because our candle's almost out. Um, and if I can, I'm gonna try and stock up. Like, I know this is part of June's budget, but now I'm thinking maybe I should buy it today or tomorrow and see if there's any like sales for Memorial Day. For Memorial Day. I'll figure that out, I don't know. Entertainment, this is another hefty one. Entertainment last month, I only budgeted $80, and this month I'm budgeting $250. And the reason is because of my sister being here. Um, I wanna make sure we go on the architectural boat tour, and then go to a Cubs game, which can be pricey, and then just like aside from that, that would be the majority of it. Um, the rest would be just for the events that my boyfriend and I may wanna go to, or things we wanna do during the summer. Um, that's why it's so much. I'll try to keep it as low as possible, but that's there. Miscellaneous, um, $25. And then we do have a trip planned to Costco. And the way I'm doing, Costco is not gonna be part of my grocery budget because these are kind of one-offs and I know like we'll spend a lot of money and that will just eat up my whole grocery budget. These are things that'll last us for, for months, like toilet paper or like pasta, for example. Um, so I think I am going to budget $15 for the Uber back. We'll take a train or a bus there. And then, um, I think 80 for for my half of the like food and like we want to buy like scent boosters paper towels toilet paper so they're all kind of pricey items so I think I'll do a total of a hundred dollars for Costco so that again that'll be about 15 bucks for uber and then the rest for our goods and then I just wanted to make a little side note here travel i'm not going to include this in the total because i think this is going to come out of my sinking funds or my savings um since i don't have a travel sinking fund yet but i plan on spending uh, oh i budgeted 350 dollars for austin so this is separate again this will not be in the total um that includes transportation and we're going to be staying with with my boyfriend's dad but and obviously they have cars down there um but based on the timing of like of when we get back to chicago we might need to get an uber and then we'll probably want to like fill up gas for them just because gas is so expensive so they're going to be driving us around so at least fill up a tank at least once so so transportation um food we plan on like treating them to a nice meal um, and then any food that you know we spend money on like going out to eat or whatever and then just a little bit of money for shopping because I always buy things on travel so I'm um, looking at $350 for my travel category um, but yeah let's go ahead and get this added up I don't even know. One thousand thirty. Let's double check that. Yep. All 
right, so to sum it up, let's see, we have about 3,200 in income, and then expenses would be the 1,030 plus the 1,525.97 um, would be $2,555.97. And then that would mean I would have $644.03 left over to save for my sinking funds. I was kind of hoping to send a lot more towards my sinking funds finally now that I have a job, but just there's just like June is just looking like a very expensive month with travel, with visitors, and um, obviously not having a full paycheck yet. So. <sighs> that's just where we are right now I know July so far like I literally don't think I have anything planned for July maybe a little extra for Fourth of July weekend in case we decide to do something but I don't think I have like any we don't have any visitors but that could change last minute like my sister did not plan on coming to Chicago in June until like four days ago <laughs> so I could that could change at any time in July but with my sister coming, all of aunt, uh, my boyfriend's family having already visited, I don't think my dad will come in July because it's really hot here from my very limited experience of July in Chicago. If he, when he does come, I'm kind of hoping maybe August or September. I still have a little time. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to June to finding out getting an idea of how much money I will be spending on, or I'll be getting for my job um, as a paycheck. I mean, I know it won't be like a, it won't be super accurate because I'll still have an extra day in the pay period that I can earn money in future paychecks, but it'll just give me an idea. Um, and my other plan for this next little bit before payments are actually due is to really sit down and figure out how I want to take care of this this debt. This is a ton of money to be paying to, to debt when I was previously debt free. So that's like 160 bucks almost. Um, Cause that would obviously increase my savings if I didn't have to pay for this all those minimums um that would increase my savings oh and i guess with that in mind i'm i'm not going to be paying if i decide to just like work on paying this off month by month i'm not going to pay just the minimum towards the debt i'll definitely throw more at it so that would probably decrease how much i can actually send towards my sinking funds so a lot of things to think about for this month but i'm i'm hopeful <laughs> i think i've given myself some leeway in all of my categories. Um, so I'm thinking it, it might be a good one. <laughs> might be the month. I'm, this will be my third month budgeting, so I'm, third time might be the charm for me. We shall see. So anyways, um, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you haven't done so already make sure you give this video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe bye